just kick the rock? You did what? Show the respect! This rock has been around for millions, maybe billions of years! It is inorganic and filled with minerals! Huh? The minerals are joined together to make the beautiful, precious rock that it is! This could have been part of a mighty mountain! It could have been deep in the heart of a volcano! It could have been held by a Native American! It could have been held by George Washington! Or my grandmother! This rock is part of history! Earth's history! Please, my dear friend, show some respect! Welcome everyone to the game show Rock Out, the game that really rocks. I'm Roxanne Dunn, and we have two new contestants today, Stone and Crystal. You all know the rules, so let's get to the first question. What do you call rocks that form when sediment is deposited and later solidified? Igneous rock? No, sedimentary rock. That's right, now the next question. What do you call a rock that was once one form of rock but has changed to another under the influence of heat, pressure, or some other agent without passing through a liquid phase? Metamorphic rock! That's right! And now for the final question, the tiebreaker. What do you call a rock that is formed by the cooling and solidifying of molten material? Igneous rock! That's right! And that's all the time we have for our show. Our winner is Crystal! Our grand prize winner wins Mount Rushmore. <laughs> and we have a great constellation prize for you. You win a rock hammer! <laughs> a rock hammer? That's cheap. This show stinks. And thanks for joining us! Hey you, what do you know about the rock cycle? Like the reels on this bicycle. The rock cycle goes around and around and around. If you start with a sedimentary rock and you pile on a bunch of other sedimentary rocks and you apply a lot, a lot, a lot of heat and pressure, heat and pressure, that rock might change into a metamorphic rock. But it doesn't end there. The metamorphic rock might be pushed under the Earth's surface where it meets even more heat and pressure. Heat and pressure. And it might even back to magma. When the magma cools, it becomes an igneous rock. But we're not done yet. The igneous rock can break down due to weathering. It could become sediments, and the sediment could pile up, and up, and up, and up. And then it could become a sedimentary rock. The rock cycle goes around and around and around. It never stops. And that is the rock cycle. The Radio City Rockettes are ready for takeoff. Nobody kicks off the holiday season like this high-kicking precision dance company. And for over 50 years, their long legs and eye-high kicks have dazzled audiences all around the world. New York, New York, I want to wake up. Costumes, perfect unison, and unique routines distinguish these 30 dancing ambassadors of New York City. And fine, I'm a number one, top of the list, king of the hill, a number one. Hi, I'm Rose. Rose Quartz, and I'm here in the hallway of our local elementary school. Let's see what these kids know about rocks and minerals. True or false, granite, basalt, gabbro, obsidian, and pumice are igneous rocks. True. Good job. Ma'am, true or false, there are over 3,000 different kinds of minerals. Uh, I'm going to go with true. These kids sure know a lot about rocks. Let's see if we can find someone else. True or false? You're talking to a rock. Strange, but true. These kids are smart. This is Rose Quartz signing off. I'm a 
everyone, my name is Mo, and I'm gonna show you my hardness scale. It's called the Mo Hardness Scale. It is not really a real scale, but it sees how hard minerals are. So first up, we have here talc. Now as you can see, I can scratch it with my fingernail. That means talc is a soft rock. I say every rose has its thumb. Just like every night has its dawn. So next up we have here fluorite. Now as you can see, I can't scratch it with my fingernail, but I can scratch it with the screwdriver. That means fluorite is a medium rock. And finally we have diamond. This is not a real diamond, but if it was real, I could not scratch it with my fingernail or this screwdriver, which is metal. That means diamond is a hard mineral or a hard rock. Hi, my name is Pearl, and today I'm going to explain how to do the light test. Um, if it, all of the light passes through, you call that t transparent. And if some light passes through, you call that translucent. And if no light passes through, you call that opaque. Now I'm going to um, tell you about some rocks. Here, this, look at this one. Do you see some light shining through? Why, yes, I do. call that translucent. Now, now um, do you see any coming through? I don't think no. so. It is opaque. Bye! Welcome to the Franklin Mineral Museum in Franklin, New Jersey. Franklin is the fluorescent mineral capital of the world. Let's go! My name is Flint, and in front of me are two minerals, pyrite and sulfur. We're going to do a streak test on these two tiles. We scratch it and see what color it comes out. So first, we do sulfur on the black tile. Kind of like a whitish, yellowish color, and now on the white tile. Hmm, I think it's the same thing. Now we're going to do it on pyrite. It's like a brown, it's like a brownish, yellowish color, and now we're going to do it on the white tile. It's more, it's more darker on this one. Thank you for watching the street test. I hope you get to do it. Bye. Hello. Today we're going to do the luster test. A mineral's luster or shine depends on the way its surface reflects the lights. Let's do, let's do the luster test. Let's start with um, the pyrite. The pyrite looks like metal. We call this metallic. Let's try a piece of quartz. The quartz, the light shines through it like, like it looks like a piece of glass. We call this glassy. Let's try the sulfur, a piece of sulfur. Um, it, the, 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 when the light 
deflects on the sulfur, it looks like a piece of wax. We call this waxy. Hope you have fun doing the luster test. Welcome to Arthur Groom Company. What brings you in today? Hello, miss. I'm interested in buying a special mineral. It's the hardest of all minerals. In fact, it's a 10 on the most hardest scale. I would like it to be clear, colors, and transparent. It should have a brilliant luster. It should be expensive, very expensive. You're looking for a diamond, and we have just the thing for you. Magnificent, I'll take it.